try this, a little spray and pray. Shut up. It's a pet collapse. So what? Let's heal up. That's the fun thing with these kind of video games, you can hear when all the bad guys are gone, when the music stops being frantic. Let me reload my crowbar real quick right here. Because you know, rather be safer than sorry. Precise aiming mechanic. It's unlocked. Oh great, I see the other pile of it's a pentacle collapse. Oh great. Remember, Jack's afraid of heights. I can feel it moving. Help me. Just swell. I hate heights. Help me, Jack. Not looking down. It's a pentacle collapse. Not looking down and just hoping they won't see me. Moving. Help me! What is moving? Jesus. Please help me! Yeah, because you're yeah. whiny, I'll just take everything here first. You can feel it moving. What's moving? Come on, sweetheart. Brian's meeting us out back. I'll never be able to make it across the rafters. You'll have to get that door open. Really? There's not much time! Let's get the hell out of here. Lead the way. I hope that landed on some of those.
Come on, Ruth. Hurry the hell up. You said it, Jackie boy. There's a bridge out of town not far from here. Just hold on. Goes Brian Burnham and Ruth. Great, three quarters of the people we've met in town are dead. At least I got a good tune. Death of the little girl. Hit him hard. That's when we see him are all over. Did I ask for your damn opinion? Remember who funds this damn nut house. Very well. He's awake. Ah, Mr. Walters. Our friends in the Boston PD hold you up as quite the hero. Before you went all screwy, that is. I don't like heroes, Mr. Walters. I don't, I don't like your face. For your opinions, whoever the hell you are. J. Edgar Hoover, from the Bureau. And considering your position, Mr. Walters, you best mind your manners. Now, what was your business in Innsmouth? Just stopping in on some broad. I was feeling down on my luck. Needed the company. Ah, bullshit. There are only two types of folks that visit Innsmouth. Criminals, Hi. fools. And you don't seem like a fool. Appearances can be deceptive. I see. Dr. Hardstrom, if you'd be so kind. Jesus. Wake him up. I am awake. Just charge me with something, cause I don't know nothing. Double negative. This is not gonna stop, Mr. Walters, so you may as well level with me. I already told you. It was nothing. A missing person case, and I needed the dough. Jesus. Fuck. Where's Edgar? I was only checked in for one night, and I had to blow the joint in the early hours. Seems the locals didn't take kindly to my snooping. For Christ's sake, Walters. Is it normal in your line of work to break a punk out of the can and breeze out of town in a stolen car? Only on the good days. But not normally, no. 
I've had a shitty night, Hoover, so I'd really appreciate you cutting me some slack. What's the Bureau's beef with Innsmouth, anyway? Widespread criminal activity, Mr. Walters, and half the damn town's involved. Our government's never had to handle something on this scale before. But they won't sanction a full-scale operation without more evidence. Well, I appreciate the bedtime story. I don't see where I come into this. Thanks to your meddling, Mackie's gone missing. And he was close to something. Something we could use. Missing? What do you mean, missing? He was supposed to check in hours ago. Our plans have now changed. You'll be accompanying us back into Innsmouth, Mr. Walters, on a small-scale raid. Our target? The Marsh Refinery. Jolly good. I'm not your lapdog, Hoover. I don't work for the Bureau. Oh, God, no. I'm not in the business of making requests, Mr. Walters. Or have you forgotten your past so quickly? A signature here, a signature there, and we can make you a permanent fixture of this delightful establishment. I could even arrange for you to have your old room back. <laughs> Fuck you. Good night, Mr. Walters. Pleasant dreams. During my interrogation, it became apparent that the FBI has been watching Innsmouth for some time. Mackie was the Bureau's inside man. I was missing as well. Hoover and his boys are going to mount a raid on the Marsh Refinery, and I'm invited whether I want to go or not. As if I haven't been through enough in the last 24 hours. I try to tell Hoover what's, been, what's waiting for them in that refinery. What's lurking beneath the surface of the town? He didn't believe me. <laughs> Can't say I'm surprised. I wouldn't believe me either if I hadn't seen it for myself. And Hoover hasn't seen what I've seen. From the questions Hoover asked me, the Bureau knows next to nothing about Innsmouth or the refinery, even though the FBI has been watching Innsmouth for some time. It was not surprising since it cut itself off from the outside world more than 50 years ago and no one outside of Innsmouth has been inside the refinery since then. I guess Mackie didn't tell much. Or he didn't believe Mackie anymore, and he believed me. Hoover thinks the old gold refinery is the main source of wealth for the Marsh family, and is a base of some kind of criminal gang. He figures that a lot more gold comes out of the mill than is possible from the amounts of raw ore they buy, and he wants to know why. I guess I thought things were pretty simple too, when I first came to Innsmouth. Now, I envy him. Yes. Ignorance. There must have been a sight when they found me. They certainly loaded me up with sedatives. They're almost worn out for now. I'm feeling drained. Wish I could blame the drugs for the dreams I had while I was up. They were just like the dreams from the other night at the Gilman Hotel. The dreams keep on getting clearer, more like memories. I'm getting fleeting images of other things too. They. They just seem to pop out of somewhere in my mind for no apparent reason. I've no idea what they mean except that I need to keep a grip on myself. I don't want to return trip to the Arkham Asylum. The raid is set for tomorrow. I'd give anything to avoid going back to that town. The feds handed me back Ruth's brooch, which they found in the wreckage of the car crash. Another painful memory.